Welcome back, everybody, to some more F1 2014. We've made some adjustments in the season career settings. We have now raised the difficulty. We have turned on all simulations, uh, break, lowered all the assistings, all that other stuff. So now we are going to do a what's called a one-shot qualifying. Which is, this is it right here. It's a full-blown one shot qualifying so we get one lap to do it to do the best we can at qualifying here let's do it like I said we turn a lot of the assists either off or down raise the difficulty up so we're gonna see how we uh, how we pan out in this one so this is our one shot qualifying guys one lap I was a little harsh on the fuel there. A little harsh on the gas there coming out of that turn. I gotta ease into the throttle. That was way wide of a turn. Got to be careful with that one. Easy on the throttle. We don't want to wash out already. Come into this turn hot. Brake real hard, punch it out of the turn, right into the straightaway. Excellent driving, that's put you in pole position. Wow, we barely made that pole position, guys. Check that timeout. We were <laughs> tenths of a second. That was close. That was real close. Nice. Oh, Hamilton's our teammate, too. Nice, and he was in second. All right. Pole position, guys. That's a good way to start this race. Good way to start this race. All right. We have no podiums and no wins, but it's only our second race into this career, so hopefully we can change that starting now. I didn't even check the weather or anything either to see kind of what we're running right now. All right, let's get uh, let's get all buckled in here. All right, let's take a look at the uh, current track statistics here. Best lap, um, finished first, so we're looking at zero percent chance of rain. All right, good, 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 good. Uh, race strategy we are currently doing the option tire and then stop number one at lap six looks like we're swapping to the prime tire okay let's do it Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to race number two. I'm in pole position. Ah. He's right behind me. Here we go. Let's do it. Beetle is like right behind me. Hamilton's off to my right. Ricardo's coming up as well. No! Oh, I slid way harder into turn one. Turn one's a bad start to this race. It's all right. Okay, we got Hamilton right behind me. He's going to pull in for the draft. Whoa, almost did it again. Way too hard on the throttle again. 
Remember, I gotta ease these throttles in. There we go. Nice and easy does it. If you come out of these turns and you pin that throttle, you're gonna lose control of your car and then out of the race you go. You gotta be very careful with it. Hamilton's still right behind me. There we go. Nice and easy does it. We're doing some good turns now. They're still right behind me, though. Hamilton's still pulling in second. That's good. We want our teammate to be right there with us. Looks like uh, Ricciardo is still third. Alonso's fourth. We got a gap of almost a second here. That turn was a little better than the first one, not by much, but yeah, we're gaining quite a little bit of a gap here, guys. And that generally means one of two things. Either one, I'm just doing this race really well, which I seriously doubt, or two, I need to raise the difficulty setting again, because I think we're currently on medium right now. Now I think it goes to hard, and then it goes to pro, or something like that, so... I just lost probably a good half second of my time right there with that foul up. So if we end up beating these guys by a, you know, if we have like a something insane, like a two or three second gap on these guys, then we're definitely going to have to change the difficulty next race. I don't want this to be a complete washout. I want to have a challenge. That's what makes these races intense and fun is, oh, is the challenge. There's nothing like fun about putting it on easy and just smoking these guys and having five, six, seven second leads. There's really no fun in that. Like right now, look at this. We've got a 1.6 second gap. We're slowly starting to pull ahead of these guys. I'm not racing my best right now, so that tells me that we're probably gonna need to raise the difficulty up next race. We'll see though. That was a nice clean turn. See, now I'm getting the fastest laps on top of that, too, so. Yeah, I think we're going to have to raise it up to a, a harder, di to like hard difficulty. We'll see what the times are on this next lap. We'll go into lap four and see what the times are looking like. So we've got a, a point three three nine pace. Looks like we got a two point four second gap on Hamilton here, guys. I think that my theory is correct. We're gonna need to have to raise that difficulty. We shouldn't have this much of a lead on people. These guys should still be on me to where if I make one simple mistake, man, we're done. Ricardo is due to stop in the next few laps. All right. We're going to stop probably in two to three laps ourselves. Swap out to those prime tires. Let's 
was gonna say, I really am not, you know, I wouldn't say I'm racing all that great, I'm making mistakes, but we're up to a 3.6 second gap now, guys. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to raise the difficulty. This race, unfortunately, unless I do something complete, like do a complete bonehead move and spin out or crash my car, if I do something like that and lose the race, either way, I'm still going to raise the difficulty up because we shouldn't be pulling this this far ahead of people. Yeah, I don't even see these guys. We're up to a 4.4 second lead now. this lap again he gained a little bit of time we're keeping on pace about a half a second they're gaining on me I know that's not a lot but they're still gaining a little bit. 4.8. Almost a 4.9 second lead now. See, they're just now making that turn back there. too hot. There we go. That was close. Alright, we should be pulling into the pit probably the next lap or two. Tires are getting yellow. wasn't paying attention. There's the mistake I was talking about. I was looking at the pit window stats. Oops. I hit my shifter on accident. Oh, my tires are still green. Actually, I think our tires are yellow. The other, this is just letting us know the damage of the vehicle. Which means everything is good, but our tires are getting worn. They are yellow. guys we're in, look at him we're in for a pit let's get in and get out all right we're in fourth place now looks like a few others are dropping in the pit as well we'll get back to first
Okay. We're in fourth, but that just tells me that those guys behind... That they didn't pit, which means they're going to pit this next lap, and I should be able to pass them and get back into my uh, pole position. That dude's running full reds. He can run full reds all he wants. We're running on a slower tire, but it's going to keep our pace, which is where we're at. Looks like uh, Batas is in third. That's who we're trying to catch up to. I want it. It's probably going to be Hamilton, Ricardo, that's in first and second, and they're going to pit this next lap. That should be how it's going to go down. here we should jump into first place if these guys are pitting three two and first there we go guys I called it yep I called it we're good we're good we have no more scheduled pits got about six more laps left plenty of fuel tires are good cars good Like I said, we're running a little bit slower of a tire, but it's going to keep our pace. We're about a two and a half second lead now. I think we got this one as long as I don't do anything stupid between now and the finish line. As long as we maintain these good turns, these good brake measures. This will put us in the lap nine now. Yep, definitely gonna have to raise the difficulty, no doubt about that, guys. There's nobody even around to contest us right now. We're running a 3.6 uh, second lead on Hamilton. Can't quite tell, but it looks like our right, our, uh, right and left rear tire are already starting to, to get worn. Can't tell, though, if it's just the opacity of the track or what. No, I think they are starting to get yellow. That's fine. As long as they're not getting like super bright yellow and then red with <laughs> four laps left, we're good. Four. 
four second lead. Whoa. I was a little harsh on that throttle coming out of that turn again. I'm glad we've got that almost five second lead now to make up for errors like that. See, if I was racing on a harder difficulty, I think that these guys would be right on me to where they would have taken advantage and passed me during these, uh, these mistakes, which would have been my own doing. But that's what makes it challenging. You got to race to perfection. laps left four and a half second lead I think we're good we just got to maintain maintain this lead not do stupid stuff like that. Nice and easy turns. Pin it out of the corners. Hit those apexes right. God for the amount of lead I got. I'm starting to really make some mistakes here. tires are getting a lot more yellow you can see it now they've been getting darker and darker over the past two laps looks like Hamilton and Ricardo still in second and third as long as our teammate, oh my gosh, as long as our teammate stays in second, we'll be good. Much better. <clears throat> Nailed that section back there. Nice. We're about 1.7 off the pace. Lap 13. Almost there. Almost there. 
Now's the time we don't want to choke. Nothing stupid. Engine temperatures are good. I've never had engine temperatures get out of crate out of whack anyway. This is it. Final lap. Tires are getting worn too. Hamilton and Ricardo are maintaining their positions as well. That's good. Especially for Hamilton. Four second and then an eight second on second place is what we're looking at. We're actually not doing too bad this last uh, lap. We're actually nailing some really, really good turns here. Our braking has been on par. Our throttle out of turns has been nice. We might even get a fastest lap here. I think we got a fastest lap too on our last lap. Nice guys. Very, very nice. Brilliant, brilliant. That's the double. Pole and the win. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Best time. 138, 856. That was our final lap. You've moved into second position in the driver's championship. Nice. Our teammate is in first, but hey, we're climbing up the ladder. That's for sure. Not bad, guys. First place. One of the things that we are definitely going to do next race, though, is we are definitely going to switch that difficulty up another notch because that four and eight second gaps were just a little too much for my for my liking and my taste. But at any rate, guys, we just now took our first place in our championship at Bahrain. Hope you guys enjoyed that next race. That was pretty good. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.